Hi guys, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Carolina and I work with data. Excuse me wearing a red jumper again, but it's Christmas coming soon, so a Christmas jumper is a must. Today I'd like to talk about the conversion master's course, master's degree in computer science. As you know, I initially studied economics, I did my bachelor, my first degree in economics, and then I switched to computer science. And today I'd like to talk about my experience and I'd like to answer two questions specifically. One, why did I pick that course? Why did I decide to go down the conversion master's degree route? Why didn't I do a bootcamp or whatever else? And two, you know, having done that with the benefit of a hindsight, was it worth it? So the first question, why did I pick that course? So in the UK, there are plenty of universities that offer a similar conversion master's degree in computer science. There is Kent, there is Birmingham, there is UCL, there is obviously Imperial, and there's more. As said, there are plenty of them, but I decided to go with Imperial and why this course specifically, and also what you should look out for if you decide to go down this route as well. The first reason why I picked Imperial is because of its reputation. It's got an amazing reputation, it's very high in the um, you know, university ranks, it's pretty good especially for computer science. And because of that reputation it is loved by employers, it is loved by well, mostly employers, but it's great for you as a student because there are job fairs all the time. Companies are lining up to you know, present their offering to Imperial graduates. And you know, also when you do things like group projects or individual projects as a part of your degree, Imperial has amazing connections with the industry. So you might do a project for a company you know, you might actually investigate something that is commercially useful for someone and you might even get paid potentially, maybe not, but at least, you know, you have this exposure to a company and, and their software engineering principles, practices, and it's just amazing. And I don't know if Imperial is the only one, I'm pretty sure other good universities also have that sort of collaboration with businesses. I'd be guessing that UCL probably is in a similar position I don't know about the other ones, but that's definitely a great, great plus when it comes to a master's degree, because you know, ultimately you want a return on your, on your investment. You know, a master's degree costs you a lot of money and you want to get a good job afterwards. The second reason why I picked Imperial is because it's in London and I live in London, which makes things convenient. And I like London, which makes things nice. Yeah, London was, was a plus. And the third reason why I picked Imperial, probably as important as the first reason, is because of its course structure. So I actually really liked the offering and, and how the course was structured. And what I mean by that, um, the course starts with C++, actually with C, and then it progresses to C++. And while it might seem a little bit outdated and hard, for a beginner it was hard but you know it gives you that sort of foundation in computer science it allows you it exposes you to all the topics in computer science like memory management like you know what happens under the hood and everything and it's so useful to know c++ because later on you'll be able to learn just any language you know java c sharp that's all easier than, than c++ and you know once you know c++ you can do anything else the course also teaches you all the sort of foundational things in computer science like algorithms, networking, databases, software engineering principles and all that. And that is very important because if you want to be a good software developer and not just someone who knows only Python and, and you know, that's not very useful. You need to have an understanding of computer science foundations if you want to be a good engineer. So I liked that aspect of that course. And the fourth reason why I picked it is because it was semi-affordable. It cost me £14,000, but it's not like I took that money out of my pocket. Um, most of it was covered with a loan. I took a loan to cover that. Back in the day when I was doing the course, I was eligible for the loan as an EU student, uh, EU national, but 
Now, after Brexit, I'm not actually sure if European students are eligible for that loan anymore. And obviously, international students were never eligible for that loan, which is not great. And also, the fee is even higher for international students, which I think is just a weird and a very nasty policy, but it's just how it works. So I don't know how much it costs if you're from China or India or wherever, but if you are a European student, it costs me £14,000. Now, do I regret doing it? You know, was it a good 12 months of my life? Would I do it again? First of all, it was stressful. They warned us when it started that, guys, you can't have a part-time job you can't do anything else. You have to focus on this course or you will not make it. And, you know, I got that. I understood that. And I, I didn't have a part-time job and I didn't do anything else except for focusing on that course. But still, I was sleeping, you know, six hours stops. I was on caffeine and sugar and caffeine and sugar, like, all the time. It was so stressful. And I don't know if it's because I'm just not a great student. I don't know but I think I'm not the only one who, who found that very intense. I think it was just intense for everyone really, or that's what I keep telling myself anyway. The teaching itself, I don't know if it was so great. I mean, obviously some professors were great. Some of them weren't as interested in students because it's a prestigious university. They are reputable professors doing reputable research, not having much time to take care of students. I get that. So. You know, overall, I'd say if you want to do a master's degree, a conversion master's degree in computer science, just to learn, just to get some education, like learn things, I think it's a waste of money. I honestly think that you can get the same information online for much cheaper or even for free. You don't have to pay 14,000 pounds to get knowledge. Knowledge is available for free. It's the structure and prestige that such courses offer. Structure around computer science fundamentals. So I didn't have to worry about structuring my education in a sensible way because it was already structured in a sensible way for me. So it was designed in such a way that there is some natural progression um, between the topics so that you know everything just makes sense and nothing very important is omitted so, so that's the benefit of doing something like that of, of doing a formal course and another point job prospects obviously are great after this course uh, or probably any master's conversion master's degree course job prospects are great because employers see a course like that as a very strong signal that you are well-educated in technology and that you are you're smart or whatever and that helps you to get a job in software engineering another point you know the flip side of it being very stressful is that you know you actually get to do the work because you have to you know there are so many deadlines uh, things you have to do but you actually get to do the work so you know i don't know if i would learn algorithms or if i would learn computer networking, if I didn't have to. So perhaps, I think there's a row outside. Someone's fighting. It's a weird area I live in. I don't know if you can hear that, but. Anyway. And the last point is that you meet like-minded people, people that are as ambitious as you are, people interested in technology as well. And it's great because, you know, when you're an adult, I don't know if you've experienced this already or not, it's quite hard to make friends because, you know, at work, you can't, I mean, you can, but not always can you make friends with people at work because, you know, it's work environment and it's just hard to meet new people so you know doing a course like that is a great opportunity to get to know new people cool that's it thank you guys for watching and as always i'll see you next thursday bye i'm gonna go check out what's happening there <laughs>